I want to talk a little bit about uh, turning Morse tapers in the lathe. Um, if all I needed was a, a, a lathe center like this, I probably wouldn't bother making one. Uh, you can get them for six or seven dollars, and uh, these are our precision ground. Um, but for making uh, fixtures and and tool holders, they can really uh, be useful, uh, like this uh, die stock uh, holder for the uh, tailstock with a Morse taper number one on it. Or like this Morse taper number two uh, that I made for holding end mills in the headstock. My understanding is that there's three basic ways to set your lathe up for cutting tapers. Um, one way is a uh, with a taper attachment that attaches to the side of your lathe. Um, I don't have one of those and uh, I've never used one. Um, another way is to uh, set your uh, uh, compound rest at an angle and use your use your tool slide to uh, cut the taper. Um, problem I have with that on this lathe is that I don't have enough travel to uh, cut a complete taper. Um, another way is uh, by offsetting your tailstock. Now I've been able to cut a couple of tapers using that method. Um, I found out the, uh, the small diameter and the large diameter and the distance between the two and with some trial and error I was able to make a, make a couple of uh, useful tapers. Um, but I was trying to find a, a little bit easier way to set things up and uh, I'll show you what I came up with. The first thing I'm going to need is a sacrificial Morse taper number one which fits my tailstock that has a hole drilled in the back side. So I'm going to take this over to the bandsaw and uh, cut this tip off. I had the tip cut off of the taper and in my headstock is a uh, Morse taper number two so I have a, uh, a number two to number one adapter sleeve and I'm just going to insert both of these into the headstock and I'm going to face this off. Next I'm going to uh, install this, uh, this Morse taper collet with a, uh, with a center drill installed in it. Then I'm going to mount the uh, the modified taper into the uh, tail stop. And I'm going to center drill. I'm going to feed this into the center drill. quarter inch bit mounted into a collet and I'm going to feed the taper into the bit about a half inch or so.
Okay, I have the taper set aside for now, and I have a piece of half inch round. This is about two and a half inches long. Um, I've got, I'm going to mount it into a collet. And I'm going to face this off, center drill it, and I'm going to drill the quarter inch hole in this the same way that I did the uh, taper. inch pin and the pin is going to connect the two pieces and I want the uh, total length of both of these pieces together to be five inches so I took this part back over to the lathe and I faced off what I needed and center drilled it so now I have a total length of five inches I have a piece of 5 8 round and I cut it just over uh, 5 inches on the bandsaw, uh, put it in the lathe and faced it down uh, until it's right at 5 inches and I center drilled it on both ends. Um, the taper that I'm going to reproduce has a little shoulder cut in on it on this one end so I'm going to I'm going to cut this on the uh, on the new taper too. So I'm going to take this over to the lathe and cut that shoulder. take this tool over to the lathe and set it up for cutting this taper. I'm going to mount my tool between centers and snug it up. And I'm going to mount my, my dial mount. bring it over to the end and I'm just going to load it up a couple of hundred thousandths. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the tailstock over until I get a zero reading on this all the way across. Alright, I had the tailstock set over and locked down, and I'm getting a zero reading all the way across. So now I'm going to remove the tool and insert my blank. The small end of a Morse taper number one is 369 thousandths, so I'm going to be making a series of cuts until I get this small end down to that size.
gels my caliper right on the very edge and I'm reading 369 thousandths so I'll take this out and see what kind of fit I have I'm going to insert it into this socket and it's a good tight fit and it doesn't rotate and it doesn't disengage easily so I think for my purposes this will work fine to put this tail stop back in line I'm going to use a test bar and my dial indicator and if you want to see an easy way to do that you can check out my video called lathe tail stock alignment I'm going to make one of these up for a Morse tape or two to uh, fit my headstock and uh, and put them in the toolbox and uh, I'm pretty sure I'll be getting some use out of them. So that's the video and thanks for watching.